Well, from basketball to baseball, this month has been a home run for Dayton bars and businesses. UD's great run in the NCAA tournament, of course, today's Reds opening day as well, I mean the cash registers in our town are ringing. Brooke Moore is live with how those numbers are adding up. Well, just over the last couple of weeks, college basketball fans have flocked to area bars and restaurants. Tonight, I talked to the folks here at Fifth Street Brew Pub. They've been open less than a year, but they say this year's flyer frenzy really brought the crowd. It's a Monday night, but you won't find many empty seats at this bar, making it hard to picture it even busier. Every seat was packed, everybody was screaming, and it was just a really, really cool time and atmosphere. David Tickle, the general manager at Fifth Street Brew Pub, says the NCAA tournament was a promotion in itself, bringing people in to watch the games. He also says it helps being fairly close to campus. Crazy nights here uh, from having big UD fla flags waving on and people chanting and people having a good time. So it's just been more exciting, is the real thing. With the Flyers making it to the Elite Eight this year, Farther than they had gone in the previous 30, Tickle says the bar was wall to wall with people. The boost in business even created a sense of unity. I had a lot of people sitting with people they didn't know, so it was introduced you to you and what do you guys think about supporting UD and having a table together? Tickle enjoys seeing the brew pub bring people together. While it was a disappointing loss for the Flyers this weekend, the crowds they brought in were anything but disappointing. Now the staff is looking forward to baseball season. Uh, I'd love to see people here before the game having a beer and getting a sandwich, then heading over to the Dragons, having them on TV and, and promoting them as much as we can. We will be talking to the Montgomery County Conventions and Visitors Bureau. We'll let you know tomorrow exactly how much money that Flyer Frenzy created for our local economy. Reporting live in Dayton, I'm Brooke Moore. Two News working for you.